All right, everybody, how you doing? And welcome back to my channel. Today is the unboxing of the Calm Easy Classico Storage Master. Now, the reason why I call it Storage Master because you can store a lot of hard drives in this case here, and you'll be satisfied with it. But the only way you can store multiple hard drives or SSDs in this case here is that your motherboard supports up to 12 hard drives or SSDs. That's a total of 12 hard drives, that's your mechanicals, or SSDs, but you gotta make sure your motherboard supports it. Now I know a lot of um, system builders, which is game enthusiasts, likes to use the M.2s instead of having cable runs and stuff because of the high-end systems they build in for presentation and use, but for old schoolers like me, still use mechanical drives, this case is good for you. The name of the company is Calm Easy. And one thing I like about it, and I tell this to all manufacturers, presentation on the box. You can't go wrong with that. You see, all the information you need to know about this product. Now, this is my first time getting into this product. Let's get into it and let's unbox it. I'm taking you along with the journey so y'all can go ahead on and um, Get the feel of it and get and, and be excited as well as me. Oh yeah, she's already looking nice. Oh yeah. She's already looking so so nice. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and get my lazy Susan out the way. Besides, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do her tech test work with their lazy Susan. So more props out to them. If you wanna follow them. So they real cool people. You can go ahead on and do that as well. I'll be putting their information link in the description below. And you can go ahead on and enjoy their journey as being content creators and system builders. Alrighty. Oh, she is massive. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, the way I like it. Yes, sir. Alright. Alrighty, before I get into it, there you go. Look how good she look. Look at that nice airflow. Yes, you get airflow all around. You got air holes on the side. Of course, you got this big mesh front panel, as well as you got air holes in the back so y'all can't say she's not getting any airflow she's getting much much airflow much airflow before i open her up let me go over the dimensions of the case first the length of the case is 16.92 inches the width is 8.7 inches and the height is 18.50 inches yes she is a beast Look at that down. Nice, good, good quality metal. So you ain't gotta worry about it bending anything. So it's good quality metal. The only thing about this case here I like is it is massive. Yes. I will go over all the specs and details for you. And two, it comes with good thumb screws, so Yes, look at that. Nice. And it's heavy on top of that. She is heavy. Now, if I miss anything or I miss, um, wrote down everything, I got all my information on the paper here. I will be putting all the link in the description below. So, you can do what you need to do and be happy. Now, one thing I like about it, before... I get into the into, into, into going over everything. If you don't know how to open up the thing, just like I said, to newcomers who are trying to build this system have a hard time pulling the front panel off. There's a little um, thing, opening slot on that. Just give it a good tuck. And she is good. Now the thing here, 
that that's kind of like a bummer on the pictures it had a front panel um a front panel filter up there there's no filter up there so yes you will be getting some dust in it and what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to go ahead and buy some um 140 fan filters to go ahead and keep some of that dust from blowing in the system so so she won't be all dusty and dirty because she is wild and naked yes sir as now you have your magnetic filter up top okay it supports up to two 140s and supposed to support up to two 120s so that's a good thing as always you know you got your paw button I like the, 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 the nice power button there. Your reset button, you don't have to push it down, just a nice touch. Your two USBs, your headphone jack, your microphone jack, and one USB 3.0. You got two USB 2.0 jacks, microphone jack, headphone jack, reset, power. Okay, let's get this top filter out of the way. Now it's supposed to came with a filter already pre-installed up front, but they didn't. But I'll go ahead on and take care of that myself by purchasing three Bulls 140mm filters. Okay, dimensions of it. It comes with three pre-installed, make it four pre-installed fans. You got three 140s up top and you have a 120 in the back. 120 in the back. Nice good logo. Kingdom. Nice, but you won't be able to see it because it has a side panel covering on it. Now, for air cooler height, make sure your air cooler is 160 millimeters or lower. If you go over 160, you will not be able to put the side panel back on. AIO supports, that's what y'all probably asking me about. Well, how you gonna get the AIO supports here? These drive cages do come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out now so I can go over the specs for you. And before I do that, I like the fact that I got good cable management in the back. So you can go ahead and rock your riders perfectly. What I'm doing is taking the hard drives off. So I'm just gonna take one off. I'm not gonna take them all out. That's why they call it storage master. So if you're on motherboards, which I know they make motherboards, which is server boards that holds a lot of drives. Now, just like I said, you could install with these drives here, these drive cages. I'm holding it up as you see. You can install eight hard drives using these here, or you can install eight SSD drives using your bracket mount your 2.5 to 3.5 bracket mount and you just go ahead on and put that baby in there from the back slide her in lock the screws down put two of them in there and you're good to go which that's a big plus okay motherboard compatibility is mini itx micro atx and atx vga support if you leave the brackets, the dry cages in, it supports up to 295 millimeters with the cages in. Without the cages, you can go a whopper 400 millimeters. Now keep in mind, I have saw a lot of um, builders do this if they go over the max length of the GPU. 
If your GPU is 425 or 435 millimeter, it will not fit up in here. So make sure you keep your GPU in the 400 millimeter range when you take out your drive board, your drive base. Okay, it comes with two 2.5 drives to the bottom if you want to mount it to the bottom or you can remove them out and you can install fans in the bottom. So yes, yeah, this baby holds a lot of fans. Okay, fan support, yeah, like I said before, and I'm not happy with it. So I might just go ahead and be junking these here fans here because these here pre-installed fans are Molex. Are Molex. So I'm not happy with that there. So that's that's a big, big bummer right there. So these are Molex fans. And if you want to use them, if you don't mind using Molex, that's good for it. If you don't, if you do mind and you don't like it, then go ahead and remove them out and go ahead and put on PWM fans in. Or put ARGB fans of what you like. Okay, I went over the BJ support. I went over the fan support. Now, like I said, your AIOs. I went over the air cooler. The air cooler, you can install 160 millimeters in this case here. AIOs, you can go ahead on and support up to 240, 280, and 360 millimeter AIOs up top. Okay, the front here, once when you move all these little drive cages out, you're gonna draw install a 360 millimeter fan, and 360 millimeter AIO up front. But you got to take these out to do that. Okay, just like I said, the fan supports are you get three 140 pre-installed, you get one 120 pre-installed. They all connect up to Molex. And I know a lot of us don't use Molex. And I thought there was um PWM um, PWM connectors, the three pin or the four pin connectors. That's a downside plus right there. So um come on ease. If you listen in, make sure you put the three pin or the four pin in here. These fans, like I said, they connect up to um Molex, you can still use it, but if you're not really a big, if it's not really a bother to you, you can go ahead on and use the um use the Molex connectors. But if it bothers you, just remove them out, and we'll just take it from there. You can go ahead and put whatever you like. You go ahead and put three 140s up front of IRGB or LED fans, or you just go all dark beta mode, and that'd be good as well too. The uh, front also support three 120 millimeter fans. The top support two 140s and two 120 millimeters, and the rear has 120 millimeter in the rear. Drive base capacity. I got it, y'all. This is why they call it Storage Master. Now you got one, two, three SSDs already, or you go two SSDs or two. Or, or there you go three SSDs or you can go two SSDs and three mechanicals and just like I said on the mechanical hard drives if you go ahead and you go three here you can go ahead and install eight here so there's two drive bay capacity for each drive bay installed so that means this baby holds a lot of hard a lot of SSDs and hard drive we're going all SSDs that's two Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 SSDs. If you're going all SSDs, make sure you go ahead and get your three, the 2.5, the 3.5 mount bracket. Without that, day, you would not be able to mount 13 SSDs in there. Also, as well, make sure that you make sure your motherboard supports those amount of SSDs. If you say, oh, well, this case supports and Ron gave out wrong information, that means you didn't do, that means you wasn't listening carefully. Make sure your motherboard houses up to at least 20 SATA connects. Okay, on the expansion slot side, you have your seven horizontal and your two vertical. Yes, it goes vertical mount, so that's a big, big plus about it. 
And your vertical mount goes right here. Right up in between there. So once you go ahead and connect that in, you're good to go on your vertical mount things. Yeah, this uh, baby holds a lot of um, a lot of hard drives. If you don't want to go ahead on, they will gave me extra two additional hard drive mounts on here. So if you do, you have to remove this one out and slide your um, SSD here. So wow, this baby holds a lot. That's why I call it the Storage Master. It holds a lot of storage. Now on the um, fan side, it sucks because they added Molex and we know we don't use Molex. Some still do. It, it's not like I said, it's not a problem thing, but down the line, these pins get loose and they get wobbly and they cause a lot of static shortage inside the case that's throwing your power supply. So this here is a big no-no right here. Um, one thing I also like about it as well is your cable management. They got a good cable management slot. So you just go ahead on and open that up. You can go ahead on and I like how you did that. That's very that's a very big plus right there. Just to go ahead and get your cables out of the way, you know. So you can go ahead on and run your cables decent and easy. So it's not really a bad bad case. The quality of this metal is good. You know, I'm pushing on it. It's not aluminum, so it's not bent. So you got good quality metal, and that's the conclusion of this case. Will I recommend this case here? Absolutely. I got this case off eBay. The name of the company is Com Ease. The name of the case is Classical Storage Master. Now on the hard drives, you can add 12. So you got 8, 9, 10, 11, and if you want to put the hard drive here, leave the cage here. You can add 12 right up in here. You got your PSU shroud. Now it does have a nice good little window if you want to go ahead and add or cover that up, but that's good for me too as well. As you notice, it has your just your basic regular pop-out dust filter. So that, that's a big plus to keep dust from getting in onto your um onto your power supply. So that's a big big plus. It's not the best um filter because you got to put it back in the grooves but it, it works so anything that works to keep dust from getting onto your power supply stop corroding out the motherboard as well as your capacitors and the circuitry of it that's a big big plus um other than that she's a great case i'm happy to do the unboxing of her and i'm happy to be rebuilding into her because she's going to be replacing my sector c100 by rosewell I enjoyed that case and just like I said with this case here I like it because it, I don't have to see the presentation inside of it no more it's to the point I got too many cases for that but come easy and the name of the um, company is Kingdom so Classico Storage Master is a good option for me I want to thank y'all for watching me do this unboxing of this case if you like the video hit the like button um, comment or what you think of this case will you be purchasing it for yourself as well I'll be putting all the description in the link below just like I said before I close it out if you're going with the AIOs or if you're going with the pumps you could probably put your pump attach your pump on this a certain way like I see you see a lot of the, um, content creators do it but um other than that She's good. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Now, one thing I noticed I didn't add in the video. This is the after because I'm making some modifications to it. These 140s, as I said, they're Molex. I'm taking them out. I had ordered um, a five pack of 140 um all black fans i'm not going led with this here because i don't want no led in this here i'm going 140s with the people so i ordered those it's a five pack so there's going to be three 140s here and two 140s up top and i put the um the thermotech that came up the um t 
TGS 100, the S100. So I put that fan back there. All the specs will be in the description below when I get ready to redo the build on Father's Day. One thing I noticed, y'all can see it here. When I took the drive cages out, which you see them right there. I took the drive cages out. It holds up to a 240 millimeter on the side. So yes, this baby caps. And if you want to go with the um, water cooler, if you're going custom, oh, this baby is nice. I mean, you could put a 240 there, put your water pump there, put your 360 on um, rad up front, and you want to get, and you could go with a 120 um uh, custom rad in the back. Yeah, this baby is nice. This is a nice case. As you see, I'm backing out. Sorry, we see the little toys in the corner, but this is the after of it. Yeah, this is nice. Just like I said, I'm making modifications because that was my first time unboxing, and I'm not a big Back in the days, I was a big fan of the Molex. Now I'm not a big fan of them. I'm a big fan of the um of the um, pins now, which everybody is. I'm a good fan of the pins now. So yeah, this baby holds heavy AIOs. As you see, I open it up. You got your 360 up front, your 280 or your 240. How you want to go with it up front. If you want to go on the side, you got your 240 on the side. Oh, yeah, this baby here loose. Or you could go ahead on and go 360 up top. Now, in the description, it said it holds up to two 120 millimeter fans. But I just realized that if you could put a 360 millimeter AIO up top, it holds three 120 millimeter fans if you want to go that, go that route. Yeah, but this baby is nice. So, this is the afterthought. Making some modifications now. So, I ain't got to go do that there towards the end thank you for watching the after and i'll see y'all when i see y'all